Hey ladies and welcome to another edition of your Smackdown Live Reaction Show. I'm your host Glenn Thomas, uh, one-fourth of the Wrestling Marks of Excellence, which you can hear every Thursday night on Fox Sports Radio 1340 AM, 96.9 FM. You can always also catch us on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, as well as YouTube, so you're watching on YouTube now. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, uh, that bell notification, so you never miss any of our updates, whether it's a Smackdown review show, which this one is, or whether it's our Raw Reaction Show, or whether it's just our regular old podcast that you can catch each and every week, once again, on Thursday nights. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, but let's get down to our SmackDown live review show. We saw Kevin Owens uh, and Daniel Bryan kick off the show talking about their match at Fastlane. Daniel Bryan goes on and talks about Kofi Kingston a little bit, how Kofi Kingston is not necessarily a leader, but he is a follower and that the WWE needs leaders like himself, and he is a great leader. Owens comes out and talks about his return to the WWE and how that he is going to take the title away from Daniel Bryan on this Sunday coming up fast lane pay-per-view. And then you get Owens. Rowan gets in the face of Kevin Owens. Once again, Rowan gets in the face of Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens doesn't waste any time and begins to strike Rowan. And that, which later on gets Kevin Owens choke slammed by Rowan. And that sets up a match for later on in the night where Kevin Owens will take on Eric Rowan on the SmackDown. Then we move on to we move on to the Miz taking on Jay Uso here. Uh which we know this on uh, upcoming Sunday on Fast Lane it will be the Usos taking on the Miz and Shane McMahon for the SmackDown titles. Very good match here going back and forth here. Well with Jay Uso in the Miz. I don't care if you like him or not, the Miz is one of the best workers in the company right now. He is one of the top guys in the company. And the storyline between him and Shane McMahon is interesting and we know the where it's going. We hopefully know where it's going. We think we know where it's going. To set up a match between those two guys at WrestleMania. Don't see the Miz being able to Miz and Shane McMahon beating the Usos on this Sunday night from Fast Lane to recapture the SmackDown titles. If they do, they'll lose them again prior to uh, WrestleMania, but nonetheless, Miz picks up the win here over Jay Uso. The Miz gets the win as they go into WWE Fastlane. Oh, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the show, this was the go-home show for Fastlane, so you know whatever happens on the go-home show, usually you get the opposite on the pay-per-view, so the Miz gets a win here. He probably won't get the mid win on this Sunday night at Fastlane, coming from his hometown of Cleveland, Ohio, where his daddy, his father, Mr. Miz, will be at ringside. It's setting it up for the Miz to take a big L and WrestleMania to be good, but then we moved on to the fatal four-way match for the U.S. title, where you you saw uh, CN Alma. You saw CN taking on R Truth, taking on Samoa Joe, taking on Rey Mysterio for the United States Championship. We know R Truth got the United States Championship just a few, about a month, a little over a month ago, and has been defending very well. Him and Carmella has been really been over within the company, and R Truth has been sneaking wins and getting wins, and so we. The picture was shaped up that our truth may sneak a win here, but nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, we have a new United States champion. That's right, Samoa Joe gets the pin on a Andrade here, and Samoa Joe is your new United States champion. His first title on the main roster. Man, my goodness, my goodness, isn't it about time? It's about time that the Samoan a submission machine, Samoa Joe, finally gets the title in the WWE, which is a United States championship. Let's see if Samoa Joe can bring some credibility back to the United States Championship. Let's see if Samoa Joe will hold on to this title for a long time. It is good to see Samoa Joe with a, cha a championship. Remember when he was NXT champion, it was great to see Samoa Joe with a title. And long live Samoa Joe, the submission, the submission, the Samoan submission machine is your new United States Champion. Uh, then we move on to we saw Alistair Black and Ricochet take on the bar yet again. In this match, the Bar, one of your best tag teams there. Once again, if you listen to the Raw Reaction Show, I'll tell you WWE is beefing up their tag team division and moving it into the right direction. Be interested to see where the tag team division goes here from here. Be interested to see where Ricochet and Aleister Black actually land, whether they land on Raw, whether they land on SmackDown. I mean, I believe w, this is WWE's way testing to see where the fans like him at or where the fans want them more at. Probably looking at ratings and see when does ratings go up when Ricochet and Aleister Black are on TV. Too many individual, individual people right now within the company, individuals 
It's good to put these guys together as a tag team. Regardless of what anybody else says, it's good for Alistair Black and Ricochet right now to be a tag team. But nonetheless, it was a hard-hitting match with Debar as Sheamus and Cesaro are so two of your best workers in the company and have been tag team and former tag team champions. Good match here. But nonetheless, Ricochet and Alistair Black picks up another win. These guys are rolling right now. So we'll be interested to see, will you see Alistair Black and Ricochet maybe take on the Usos? Or will you see Alistair Black and Ricochet maybe take on the Revival? Uh, come up in upcoming weeks at maybe WrestleMania. Be it's kind of good to see where these two guys are land. We know right now Jardy Gargano uh, is also called been called up. Haven't seen him lately, but we also know Tomasa Ciampa is hurt. So these two guys are the ones that are taking the NXT ball uh, from right now and running with it on the main roster. So. Alistair Black and Ricochet, I uh, guess this, you know, just a funny thing. What would you call this tag team? Uh, leave a thought in the comment below. What would you, what would the name, tag team name of Ricochet and Alistair Black be? Uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what would you call this tag team. And then we moved on. We saw Mandy Rose take on yet Naomi again and pick up another win over Naomi. Uh... Internet doesn't like this so much that Naomi's constantly losing to Mandy Rose, man, the woman who's trying to take her man, uh, trying to take her man, and yet Naomi cannot get a win over Mandy Rose. We know Mandy Rose is heading into Fastlane, getting ready to take on Oscar for the WWE SmackDown Championship. Once again, my theory is correct. Mandy Rose gets a win here. May not get a win on Sunday. But as Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville walks to the backstage area, Oscar comes out and kicks the living daylight out of Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose. Oscar gets the one up on Mandy De Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville on this week's SmackDown. Uh, Oscar is one of the better workers in the company and feel like she's been left out. Uh, you, we talk about Ronda, we talk about we talk about Becky, we talk about Ronda, we talk about Charlotte. Uh, no one really mentions Oscar and she is the WWE SmackDown champion. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, this woman was just in the WWE main event last year, one of the main event matches last year as she took on Charlotte Flair. She also was the winner of last year's Royal Rumble. Let's not forget that Oscar is a very talented lady, and for her to take on take on Mandy Rose at Fastlane, I believe it's going to be an easy match. Be interested to see where WWE sets her up for this year's WrestleMania as her being the WWE SmackDown Women's Champion. Let me know in the comment section where would you like to see Oscar, and who would you like to see Oscar face at this year's WrestleMania as we move on. Then we saw the segment, which everybody loves to see, the segment between Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch. Uh, Charlotte Flair ended up trying, uh, going back and forth about their match at Fastlane. We know these two women are very good dance partners. You can call it a la a Ric Flair or Ricky Steamboat. You can call it Okada, Omega. But whenever these two guys, John Cena, Randy Orton, or whenever these two ladies get into the ring together, they put on one heck of a match, and they do very well with each other. And Charlotte goes back to saying how this Sunday is not going to be any different at Fastlane. And Becky's a little injured, and Charlotte took, takes advantage of Becky Lynch, tried to in, injure her even more, knowing that Becky just had a rough night when Ronda Rousey snapped on both of them, especially snapping on Becky. But nonetheless, Becky Lynch gets the upper hand and put the disarmor on Charlotte Flair uh, doing this, and the crowd goes wild. This lady is really over. She's one of the top over, whether it's man, one man, whatever you want to call it. Becky Lynch is over in the company right now, and the fans are really getting behind her, not mad at the heel turn of, of Ronda Rousey in the f more of a face move for Becky Lynch because she is what – WWE is looking for. She is white hot right now. Uh, going into fast lane, I imagine I, my theory might be wrong on this one. Becky Lynch gets the upper hand on this show, uh, on the, the go home show on SmackDown. I believe that she still picks up the win uh, at fast lane. But you'll get up my all, my all my predictions on this weekend's this week's episode of the Wrestling Marks of Excellence, which you will hear once again Thursday night on Fox Sports Radio, 1340 AM, 96.9 FM, or you can listen to the podcast as what drops as well on Thursday as well. But then we moved on to the Eric Rowan Kevin Owens match, which was going back and forth between these two guys. Very hard hitting match here between Kevin Owens and Eric Rowan. And we saw a return in this match. We saw the return of Mustafa Ali. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Mustafa Ali uh, made his return as he t attacked da Daniel Bryan, as he attacked Kevin Owens. Uh, Mustafa Ali is back here uh, once again. And it's good to see Mustafa Ali back. Be interested to see where it goes now. Uh, with Mustafa Ali being back, we know that the storyline was written kind of for Mustafa Ali, the one that Kofi Kingston is in. Will we see a match between Mustafa Ali and Kofi Kingston? Maybe to set up who will face Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. 
uh, we'll be interested to see how that one goes and how that one shapes up here uh, with Mustafa Ali and Kofi Kingston. Uh, it will Mustafa Ali be thrown right back into the mix uh, with Daniel Bryan? We know that there's some history there uh, between Daniel Bryan and Mustafa Ali uh, from a couple pre, pre a couple months ago. Uh, but nonetheless, WWE uh, fast lane this Sunday night. Daniel Bryan takes on Kevin Owens. Takes on Kevin Owens. Ali, you know, supported. Kevin Owens in this match. Kevin Owens picks up the win via DQ uh, if you want to know who won the match, but it's a, it leaves a lot of questions uh, for in the next couple weeks about where does Mustafa Ali go, where does Kofi Kingston go, and how does WWE get to the main events that everybody, the wrestling main, main event that everybody wants to see, Kofi Kingston versus Daniel Bryan. Will it still be Kofi Kingston versus Daniel Bryan? Will it be Kofi Kingston and Mustafa Ali versus Daniel Bryan, will this be a multi-person match for the WWE Championship? I think most fans rather see Kofi Kingston take on Daniel Bryan instead of inserting Mustafa Ali, but WWE had to reintroduce Mustafa Ali, even though he's been gone for a couple weeks, because Kofi Kingston has got all the f all the publicity, all the favor, all the, the insight. Kofi is over, but it was a, a good week. They couldn't see Kofi Kingston on TV because he's in India right now with New Day as they are part of the New India, the India Performance Center, the India tryouts for uh, WWE. So, New Day was in there. Kofi Kingston will be there. Check out Fastlane this Sunday night. But also, before you do that, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, and please make sure you check out the Wrestling Marks of Excellence this week. As we talk about, I'll give you our Fastlane predictions. We talk about the reaction from Monday Night Raw. We talk about things that happened on SmackDown. We talk about the things that happened in the world of professional wrestling, as well as AEW and Ring of Honor. But please make sure you hit the subscribe button, the bell notification. As always, if you're not confirmed, consider yourself denied. End of story, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.